And meantime, former President Trump now facing new charges in the classified documents case. Prosecutors allege Trump asked a staffer to delete security footage at his Mar-a-Lago estate to obstruct the Justice Department's investigation. That staffer, the property manager, Carlos de Oliveira, is alleged to have schemed with Trump and Trump's valet, Walt Nada, to hide footage from investigators. Now, the Trump campaign responding, saying, quote, this is nothing more than a continued desperate and flailing attempt by the Biden crime family and their Department of Justice to harass President Trump and those around him. Deranged Jack Smith knows that they have no case and is casting about for any way to salvage their illegal witch hunt and to get someone other than Donald Trump to run against crooked Joe Biden. Joining us now to discuss is trial attorney Nima Ramani and criminal defense attorney Randy Zellen, great to have you both with us here. All right, Randy, when we saw you yesterday, we did not know about these new charges. How does that change things? Well, objectively speaking, what we see here with the superseding indictment is the former president's own words. And not only are they his own words that bury him, unfortunately, he could not have said them to worse people. He said them to co-defendants, not to cooperators. Uh, who might have an agenda. Uh, and he said them to his attorney. Uh, and quite frankly, if he attacks his attorney, that's going to open the door to every conversation that he ever had with his attorney. So unfortunately, we can look at these sound bites, witch hunt and deranged and misguided and a distraction. Hell yeah, it's a distraction. But the truth of the matter is that if the government can, in fact, put these witnesses on, get this evidence in coming from Mr. Trump's own mouth to his co-defendants, who will be stuck with either flipping, cooperating, so they don't spend a million years in jail, or falling on a grenade for the former president, his undoing is going to be Evan Corcoran, who I believe we all think and all know is attorney number one. That's game over. Nima, you look at it that way? Well, I agree with Randy. I mean, this is pretty strong evidence of obstruction of justice, right? I mean, we're talking about what Trump and his direct employees did in response to a grand jury subpoena. They tried to delete the evidence. So these are actually the strongest and most serious charges in the case, in the case that's really about the cover-up being worse than the crime. So like Randy said, the Department of Justice, they love this divide-and-conquer strategy. They're going to lean on Nada and De Oliveira, try to get them to flip. And even though Trump uh, may be paying for their lawyers, they have to be looking in the mirror and saying, hey, do I roll, do I rat, do I snitch, and do I save myself, or do I potentially go down with this sinking ship? So there's going to be a lot of pressure on these two to flip. So it's going to be interesting to see if they do so. Randy, I'd like to get your reaction to Trump talking to Breitbart News about the looming indictment uh, regarding the events surrounding the election and January 6th. Take a listen. I think they'll end up being an embarrassment to the Democrats and an embarrassment to our country. And they have lifted my poll numbers. In all fairness, they didn't want to run against me. That's why they did it. They did this so that I wouldn't get the nomination. And it actually had the reverse effect. It's lifted my numbers, but I was winning anyway by a lot. Um, it, it may be uh, lifting his numbers, but these charges uh, seem to be increasingly serious. Well, actually, I would respectfully submit uh, that the charges are most serious, most significant, and most objectively and easily provable in the classified documents case. That might be the one that you can slough off as, oh, this is just someone who's being braggadocious. He thinks it's very cool, uh, much like we put signed player uniforms up on our wall. But the truth of the matter is, the difference maker now is that we have proof of Mr. Trump taking affirmative steps to keep away from the Department of Justice evidence. His own lawyer's notes bury him. Hey, the plucking, taking documents out, why do we have to give them this? Why can't we just tell them we don't have anything? I don't want you looking at anything. That's coming from his own attorney. Let's just tell them we don't have anything. And then if the government rolls Mr. Norda and Mr. D. Oliveri, again, it, it's over. Or they fall on a grenade. But even if they do and they say, you know what, the president didn't know anything. We did it all on our own and we lied. Evan Corcoran is the deal sealer nail in the coffiner. 
Okay. Uh, uh, we've got about 15 seconds, uh, Nima. When might this case actually take place? Uh, because this is new information. I think it's still going to happen in May. The Department of Justice, in connection with this superseding indictment, asked the court to keep the trial date. It's just one additional espionage count, a couple obstruction counts really related to the same conduct. So I think Judge okay. Cannon is going to hold that line. All right. Nima Romani and Randy Zellin, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks Com for having us. Coming up, how 